kick flip. It is fairly easy. Fair ride. But one thing is that you've got to uh, kind of have to kind of have to know how to do it all. Because it, well, you don't really need to know how to do it, but you, it will help you if you do know how to do it all. Now, for a quick kick flip, you basically do the same thing. Oh, and by the way, this is the second lesson, second skate lesson of how to do kick, kick flip. So, basically what you do is you, oh, let me turn around for you, come close. There we go, here we go, now that's the tail. And basically what you're gonna do is put your back foot same way right here. Maybe you haven't seen mine, so on this chipped area right here, along that chipped area and that chipped area right there. And then for your, um, for your other one, for your other foot, You'll basically do the same thing, like for the ollie, except you're going to put it a little lower down, so maybe right here, and not as much straight on the board. You maybe you want it more on the side of the board, as you can see, according to my foot. So when you go, you want to lean back, not like back, like so your board will flip like this. So that, so you want it, so just your board is obviously, if you go skating like this, you're obviously going to be turning around in circles like this. So you want it so like that. So when you do, when you pop it up, you're kind of on a, um, on a edge when you pop up so it gets you started because the main thing of a kickflip is where you go like this and it will turn the board all the way around and then you land it so you basically want it to be turned however you're doing it so if you're doing it like this the other opposite way then you're gonna want to be at the edge. Might want to be leaning that way. Okay, so since I'm off right-handed, I'm gonna be on my. This is all left. Yeah, I'm gonna be on left side. So I'm putting it like this. I'm gonna pop it up, and then I'm going to after I'm popping it up, I'm gonna take my foot. If it's popped up, I'm going to take my foot like that, like that, and flick it off the board. I'm only in a small area, so I would, I'll show you in my, uh, I'll, sh I'll have my, uh, I'll have in another video, I'll, ha I'll have myself show you. I'll have myself show you, because at my, um, original house I have a whole bunch of stuff skate stuff skateboarding stuff like yeah so because we're on vacation in California so it's going to be different okay so now what we're going to so basically you're going to go like this and pull it up and flick it off or off so you don't want to flick it off too high, like off the board like that, because then it will cause the board to go like boom, and you'll slip backwards. So you want to flip, you want to take your foot off right where you see that bump right here in the board, where kind of more like where the wheel is, or like right here, where the board goes like up and down, like down and up. Well, you don't want to go up and take it off there. You want to take it off here because it will, it will edge the board better. So it will turn better. So you want to do it like this. This is the wrong way. You go like this and off. You don't want to do it like that. You want to do it like this. Like. 
so like, like, and jump. So, um, so basically the only problem that people have on kickflips are going like this, they flip off, and the board goes out, you know, they don't land it obviously, or they, um, they go like, this, like that, they go like that. That's the problem. That problem is how you get that is fall over like that. Is when you do it. Some people get on like this, and they go like that, and then you go and you land like that. But another way is if you're scared, sometimes you'll land like this, like this, with one foot on the board, and you'll just basically go Whoa! like that and move whatever you are doing it with and hurt whatever you're doing it with. So I accidentally did that in the computer I'm using. But that's how you do a, um, that's how you do a kickflip and thanks for watching.